This sharing session focuses on sample size estimation with some practical examples. In hypothesis testing, H null is either rejected or not to be rejected. At this point, errors can occur. If in actual fact there is no significant difference, but H null was rejected, this is type 1 error. If in actual fact there is significant difference, but H null was not rejected, this is type 2 error. Conventionally, alpha is usually set at 0.05. On the other hand, beta is usually set at 0.2, which expresses as power of study at 0.8, or 80%. Estimation of sample size depends on various factors, objectives of the study, type of hypothesis, nature of study design, and types of data collected or measured. To estimate this sample size, the following information should be known prior the estimation. For dependent continuous data, information required include minimum acceptable difference, standard deviation, power level at 80%, and significance level at 0.05. For dependent categorical data, we need to know the proportion in group 1, the proportion in group 2, power level at 80%, and significance level at 0.05. Equation may also contain the value of constant C. Look at table of constant C. The value of C depends on the alpha and power of study. If alpha at 0.05 and power at 80%, the C value will be at 7.85. The following are specific equations for various study designs. For a descriptive survey, we need to know P, that is the percentage of positive, and Q, the percentage of negative. Z value at 95% confidence level is 1.96, margin of error, or E value, commonly set at 0.05. If the total population is less than 10 thousandths, a discounted estimation can be utilized. For example, the survey objective is to identify the public perception regarding smoking. It is known that 20% of Malaysian are smokers, thus, the P equals 0.2 and QE equals 0.8. A survey on general public will require 246 subjects. If only for campus population, only 197 subjects will be required. Online sample size calculators such as Rayosoft can also be utilized. This application is also applying similar equations as described before. For a descriptive survey to investigate factors or predictors, we need to know the number of covariates or factors, or K, and P, that is the smallest proportions of negative or positive cases in the population. If the resulting number is less than 100 you should increase it to 100. For example, the study objective is to identify predictors for smoking habit, number of predictors that will be investigated as 15 items percentage of smoker in the public is 20%. If the study involves the public population, then the sample size is 750 subjects. If the study only involves smoker population, then the sample size is 150 subjects. For dependent categorical data, with digitimous variables such as occurrence of death and adverse event, we need to know, PC, the proportion of event occurred in the control group, and, PE the proportion of event occurred in the experimental group, and D is the difference between PC and PE. For example, the study objective is to prove that fast antibiotic treatment increase patient survival. PC is the proportion of survivors without antibiotic, let's say 10%. PE is the expected proportion of survivors with antibiotic, let's say 30%. Thus, D is 0.2.
continuous data with single group experiment design. We only need to know the proportion of subjects not affected, the P. For example, if the prevalence of infection is lower, let's say 10%, at power of study equals 95%, beta is 1 minus power equals 0.05, p is 1 minus percentage affected equals 0.9, roughly 30 subjects should be sampled in this study. For continuous and proportion data, equation by Fleiss 1981 can be applied. data. To compare two group means either independent samples or paired sample. We need to know what is the standard deviation of the data, S, and the effect size, D. Both data can be obtained from previous studies or expert consensus. For example, let's compare the mean of random blood sugar, RBS, levels between groups treated with drug A and drug B. Information that is required from previous study, SD for RBS in general population is 3 millimol per liter, and clinical importance difference is 2 millimol per liter, thus, number of sample required per group is 36 subjects. To study the correlation between variables in a single group, we need to know the following. The standard normal deviate, Z alpha equals 1.960, at alpha equals 0.05. The standard normal deviate, Z beta equals 0.842, at beta equals 0.20, and R value is the expected correlation coefficient. For example, the objective of the study is to identify the correlation between BMI and systolic blood pressure. If correlation exists, the expected R is at least 0.5, C is estimated at 0.55, thus, sample size required is 29 subjects. After following this learning session, it is hoped that you are able to get some insights how to choose the most appropriate sample size equation for your study objective. Thank you.